I'm about to be 44 years old in three days. So this is going to be the, uh, the first birthday that I've actually celebrated uh, outside of prison since I was 29 years old. I didn't even know the law at that point. So there was no way I could get a 15 year sentence because I had a minimum mandatory of 40 years. So the day I got sentenced before Judge Longstaff, 42 and a half years, he started clicking them off, 150 months, uh, 100 months, uh, 300 months, 60 mm -hmm. months. And I heard my dad behind me said, turn to my co-defendant's attorney and said, how long is that? She said, that's 42 and a half years. And my dad stood up and they had to uh, escort him from the uh, courtroom because he just thought this is a travesty. And it was like a sigh of relief because I wasn't alone anymore. And um, that's why I told you I'll do anything for you because that right there took a weight off my shoulders. I said, okay, I don't have to fight this alone. The order comes through. I call my uh, my co-defendant and he's screaming on the phone. He says, you're coming home. And I just start crying because I just, at this point, I just, I can't believe it. I think one of the best qualities of lawyering and judging for that matter, doing anything is empathy. I mean, put yourself in the shoes of a young African-American, Hispanic, a uh, working class white person who hasn't had your opportunity. And here you have the chance to make a huge difference in your life. I mean, why wouldn't you knock yourself out? <laughs> you know, it's kind of, this is the reason you came to law school. <laughs>